Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or if you are new here, my name is Brianna and I make health, beauty, and lifestyle videos to inspire and motivate women like myself. So today's video is going to be me telling y'all what books I plan on, heavy on the plan on, reading this month. <laughs> I am excited. Um, I have done several other book videos. If you have not seen them, please go watch because they were lit. I'm excited to get ready to reread these books because when I read them, they made me feel certain type of emotions and happiness and I don't know, interesting and it, it resonated with me somehow. So I want to go on that journey those journeys again i will save the last one for the one that i'm most excited about um rereading so i guess i will go like in a rank type of situation so number one is bad girls by shannon holmes this is the one that i compared to the tv show on stars p valley because it's based on the strip club it's based on I guess I will read the the um, the summaries. I don't have all the books in person, but I will read the summaries of the ones that I do have. So it says, Bad Girls takes you into the mysterious and often dangerous lives of young women who turn to the streets and strip clubs as a means of survival. These are girls who along the way suffer bad breaks and find themselves ripe for exploitation by men and women who pretend to be their saviors. Tender and Goldie were taken under wing by Kat, a veteran stripper, who enjoyed the life and the risks she had to take in she had to take to stay in the mix of the sex trade. Both of these young and beautiful girls had ended up in dire straits and in need of Kat's help in different ways, but ultimately for the same reasons. They lacked the love and support that most of us expect to get at home and in our communities where they hit okay y'all get the picture maybe i guess i should start doing book reviews i actually do have an interview with an author a, a up and coming african-american author coming soon i'm excited about that but i think i will start doing book reviews on my own as well i don't remember much about this book um but i know that when i start reading it i will remember everything that i just remember that it was really good so Bad Girls by Shannon Holmes. The next one I have a digital version. I never got a physical copy of this book. The name of it is Thugs and the Women Who Love Them by Wahida Clark. I believe it has a sequel as well. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it has a sequel. And I think this was made into a play, if I'm not mistaken. But it's basically, um, it surrounds, I think, four women who are like literally the, the title says it all thugs and the women who love them um they dating some dudes who like probably just got out of jail or in the streets or one of them is dating a abusive guy and then um it, it was a really it was really interesting because it was another one of those books that was set in like the early the late 90s early 2000s so like when they talk about certain music and stuff like that, it, it puts you in that time if you lived it. I, I lived it, but I didn't live it, you know? Like, I was there, but I was a kid. But I still remember the music and stuff, you know? It is a really interesting book. I already started back reading this one, and the first scene of the book is this girl who is in the mall, and she is buying so you can't even do this really anymore she's buying clothes and purses and stuff with bad checks so she writing the check right and then she give them the check and then she leave because they can't instantly check a check and she takes them to a local dude that she know who buys the items off of her and yeah she make that's how she makes her money but she has to she's trying to go to school at the same time i think she's trying to be a lawyer or something like that which is kind of ironic but i'm i'm definitely gonna finish that soon 
uh, I know like half the month is gone so I have to like hurry up and start reading the next book that I'm rereading this month is called unleash the power of storytelling and it is by Rob cannot pronounce his last name so uh, yeah but uh, everything will be linked below of course um, and this was recommended to me by Maddie James. She is an influencer who teaches other influencers how to make top dollar off of their brands and their platforms. So if you are an influencer, then you need to know about her and you need to read this book as well. If even if you're not an influencer, this book can help you with anything. Like if you're trying to get a job, if you're trying to win over somebody, if you're trying to persuade somebody to do something this will tell you the secret and the secret is storytelling it says business storytelling made simple study after study confirms that stories have unparalleled power to break down walls build trust and influence people to act so it's no surprise that the market is flooded with a dizzying array of books experts and resources on this hot topic unleash the power of storytelling cuts through the hype to clarify and demystify the storytelling process it offers a practical easy to follow roadmap for crafting and delivering powerful stories that can help you get more of what you want from your business your career and your life i'm not going to read the rest but basically in a nutshell he tells you how to find the perfect stories to tell like because some people will be like well my life is not interesting i don't have any stories to tell but everybody has some story to tell if you reach deep down and you just pick out the important parts and the the witty parts and the funny parts everybody got a story to tell and he tells you how to take those stories and use them to get what you want simple as that this is the second to last i have mentioned this book many times before it is the sisters of apf by zane herself the authoress and it is absolutely amazing i believe that this book is based off of one of the stories in sex chronicles one but i have not finished it yet so i haven't gotten to it yet but it's really interesting so i'm going to read the 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 plot apf stands for alpha phi fm a sorority dedicated to sexual freedom and the fulfillment of its members zane's apf stories have appeared in her yep in her earlier collections including the sex chronicles shattering the myth mary ann is the daughter of a chicken farmer from south dakota she has never been more than 50 miles from home and has led a sheltered life by the time she goes off to college in washington dc she has been intimate with only one man her high school sweetheart the resident manager of marianne's dormitory patricia befriends this country bumpkin but befriends the country bumpkin she finds marianne amusing but also senses something intriguing about her hidden under tongue twist after Marianne becomes smitten with Trevor, the campus playboy, Patricia is determined to show Marianne how not to be a bit a victim, but rather how to outdo the players and heartbreakers. She indoctrinates Marianne into the ranks of the sexiest secret society ever, the Sisters of APF. It's lit. And that's all I gotta say. I remember this book distinctly um i remember it for sure takes you on a really interesting journey and fun fact the girl on the the woman the young lady on the cover she is the actress that was in Medea's family reunion the one who was uh getting married so yeah isn't that nice and last but not least i really wish that i had a digital i mean a, a physical copy i'm going to get it eventually just for um to have it but i don't have it because somebody stole it from me they never gave it back i let them borrow it they never gave it back you know how it goes but it is none other than the coldest winter ever i i have to reread this because she is coming out with a sequel y'all she's coming out with a sequel sister soldier 
so I have to I have to reread it. Um, I have to know all of the details from before so I can be fully in tune. Basically, if you have not um, heard of or read this book, it is based on a character named Winter, right? Yeah, Winter. And she just like goes through this thing like her dad is in jail and she meets this guy named what's his name uh soul uh, what's his name his name was something like soul or something something mystical and you know he kind of like i guess he turns around or whatever and you know they have their little thing and then she has other issues with her family as well it's a really good story it's like it's like hood book slash urban fiction staple like it's like like if you black then you gotta have watched Friday, all the Fridays. It's like if you read and you black and you like urban fiction, you have to have read The Coldest Winter Ever. It's like a requirement. It's like a prerequisite. I am so excited. I have a copy of it from the website that I'll be telling y'all about. Um, if you would like to read any of these books for free, let me know because I got you. Let me know what y'all are rereading this month. I'm going to be doing this monthly on a monthly basis. I have to because um, it's motivation for myself to keep reading and it's motivation to um, keep recording book videos. Let me know if y'all enjoy this type of video so I can determine whether it's worth it or not i guess don't forget to follow me on instagram and pinterest i actually have a goodreads board on my pinterest there's not a lot of urban fiction books in there but it's um like some more mainstream books that i plan on reading soon so if you want to see what's in there the link will be below and yeah don't forget to like subscribe and share this video for those who you may think could use it or would enjoy it. And thank you so much for watching and I will see y'all in the next video.